Hey dear students, welcome back to Matrices and Systems of Linear Equations. Okay, so what is the learning outcome for today? At the end of this video, I hope all of you will be able to find the minus and two factors of a matrix. Okay, so this note is more on determinant. I will be covering determinant in my next video. In this video, we will be focusing on minor and cofactor. So let's say we are given matrix A. What is a minor? So usually minor will be denoted with the alphabet M. Okay. I, J here refers to the row and column. Okay. So minor of any element in matrix A is the determinant of the matrix obtained by deleting the ith row and the j column. So we will be getting minor when we delete row and row and column okay of a matrix a okay now next what is a cofactor usually cofactor will be denoted with the alphabet c and it is given by the formula negative 1 to the power of i plus j so i just explained to you what is i and j okay that is the row and column multiply with m i j so when we want to find cofactor first we must we need a minor. So, we need to find minor first before we can find the cofactor. Okay. This notes is more on determinant. So, I will be explaining these notes in my next chapter. Okay. Now, let us look at example 6. Let us say we are given matrix A. 1, 2, negative 1, 3, 4, 2 and 1, 4, 3. So, look at the question. They have asked us to find m11 so the alphabet m there shows that they are interested in minor so we need to know the notation for minor so alphabet m is the notation for minor so how do we find m11 remember we will be finding m11 by deleting the row and the column so the row and the column that we're going to delete is row 1 column 1 and if you remember the notes, we will be obtaining the determinant. So, you need to write the determinant symbol. So, what are the leftover elements? 4, 2, 4, 3. So, remember, this is not a matrix. This is a determinant. Okay. So, how do we find determinant of 4, 2, 4, 3? That would be 4 multiply 3, which is 12, minus 4 multiply 2 which is 8. So 12 minus 8 will give us 4. So this is M11. Okay, before we find M32, I suggest we find C11 because it is connected to M11. So the formula of C11 is negative 1 to the power of i plus j. So in this case, i is 1, j is 1. So if you remember the formula, it will multiply with M11. So, we just got the answer for M11 which is 4. So, negative 1 to the power of 2 will give us positive 1 multiplied by 4. So, our answer here is 4. Okay, students. Do you think you can un understand how to find minor and cofactor? Okay, now let's try another example. M32. So, before we find M32, okay, we go to our matrix here. We need to delete row 3 and column 2. So, what are the remaining elements? 1, negative 1 and 3, 2. So, remember, this is determinant, not a matrix. So, the symbol is very important. So, how do we find the determinant of 1, negative 1, 3, 2. So, we are going to take 1, multiply by 2, which gives us 2, minus with 3, multiply with negative 1. Okay, so 1 minus negative 3. So, that would be plus and this will give us an answer of 5. Okay, so we can continue with C, 3, 2 using the formula negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 multiply with M32. 
So this is the negative 1 to the power of 5 will result to negative 1. Multiply with 5 it will give us negative 5. Okay students, I hope you can understand how to find minor and cofactor. Now, I would like to go to example 8 because this is slightly uh, different than the example 6. Okay, so this is a question where they are asking us to find cofactor of a matrix, not an element. So cofactor of a matrix means we need to find cofactor of every element. C11, C12, C13 and every element in matrix A. So how to find cofactor of A? So it will be easy if first we have a template. So in this template, the first element here will definitely be a positive value followed by a negative value followed by a positive value. The second row will start with negative, positive and negative. The third row will start with positive, negative and positive. So how do I get this template? So remember student, to find cofactor, the formula will start with negative 1 to the power of i plus j. So the first element here is 1, 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 1 to the power of 2 will result to a positive value. Okay, so that's why this is positive. Why this is negative? This is row 1, column 2. So this is C12. C12, 1 plus 2 is 3. Negative 1 to the power of 3 will definitely result a negative value and so on. So this template will help us to find the cofactor of a. So next, we are going to find cofactor of A. So as I told you, it will be easy if we have the template. So the first template is going to be a positive followed by a determinant sign. So the first element here is C11. So you're going to delete row 1 and column 1. So what are the remaining elements? 3, 0, 7, 6. So, we're going to key in 3076 into our determinant here. Okay, the next sign is definitely negative and the element we will obtain by deleting. So, this is row 1, column 2. So, you need to delete row 1, column 2. So, the remaining element will be 5086. Okay, now... Next is definitely a positive value followed by a determinant sign. So now we're going to eliminate. So this is row 1, column 3. So we're going to eliminate row 1, column 3. And the remaining elements are 5, 3, 8, 7. So we're going to write 5, 3, 8, 7. So I hope you can follow. So this is going to start with a negative sign. And this is row 2 column 1. So, the next remaining elements would be 2, 4, 7, 6. Okay. Followed by a positive value. So, we're going to eliminate row 2, column 2. So, the leftover elements are 1, 4, 8, 6. Okay. 1, 4, 8, 6. Okay. The last here is, sorry, determinant sign. Okay. Row 2, column 3. So, let's delete row 2, column 3. We will be left with 1, 2, 8, 7. Okay. So, you can try the next on your own before I do it. Okay. So, we're going to start with positive sign. We're going to delete row 3, column 1. The leftover elements are 2, 4, 3, 0, followed by a negative sign. Okay. We're going to eliminate row 3, column 2, the, the leftover elements are 1, 4, 5, 0. And the last is a positive sign. We're going to eliminate row 3, column 3. And that will leave us with 1, 2, 5, 3. So this is a cofactor of a matrix. So you need to have a matrix sign here. Okay. Okay, students. 
But remember, we haven't finished our question. Okay. We just managed to find the determinant. Okay, now we're going to go to the answer. So, what is the determinant of 3, 0, 7, 6? So, this is going to be 3 multiply 6, 18 minus 0 is going to give you a value of 18. So, the next matrix here is going to be 30 minus 0 and negative in front of the determinant sign is going to give you a answer of negative 30. The next, we're going to take 35 minus 24. So, 35 minus 24 is going to give you a value of 11. Okay. Now, here is going to be 12 minus 28. Okay, student. 12 minus 28 will give us negative 16. So, negative 16, we need to multiply with negative. So, negative, negative, your answer will be positive 16. Okay, next. 6 minus 32 is going to give us a value of negative 26. So, negative positive, the answer is going to be negative 26. Okay, next. This is going to be 7 minus 16. 7 minus 16 is going to give us a value of positive 9. Sorry, 7 minus 16 is going to give us a value of negative 9. So, negative negative is going to give you the answer of positive 9. Next, 0 minus 12 is going to give us negative 12. Okay. 0 minus 20 is going to give us negative 20. Negative negative is going to give us positive 20. Next, 3 minus 10 is going to give us negative 7. Okay. So, this is the answer for cofactor of matrix A. Okay. So, I hope you can understand and you should try this example on your own. So, you will understand it better. Okay, students. So, next, this is going to be our next video which is determinant of a matrix. So, I hope you have achieved today's learning outcome which is find the minor and cofactor of a matrix. That's all for today. Thank you very much.